everybody. It has been a very crazy morning so far. We've got Kylie here. He's been having a couple seizures this morning. Does it feel so good? Um, rolling him in his stroller, his modified stroller, taking a walk for a little bit. Um, Ezra had a really bad meltdown this morning. He was biting his hand and screaming, kicking himself. It was hard to watch, you guys. It was really hard to watch. Um, and also, we have had like a very tough decision about something. When it comes to Jamie, we are gonna have to have power of attorney over Jamie, like guardianship over James. Cause Jamie, it's not Jamie's fault. Jamie can't, you know, he can't be on his own. There's no way. He could never make it on his own. <coughs> he just couldn't. Is that better, Kylie? Yeah, okay. You know, Ezra, he has meltdowns, but he's autistic. He's gonna have meltdowns. He's gonna scream. He's gonna kick. He's gonna cry. And unfortunately, this morning was one of those mornings where he was having a very bad one. He's tired. He didn't sleep well last night. He had a really rough night sleeping. So, Ezra's just, you know, he, he can't help it, but it's just the way it is. You know, he's having meltdowns and I'm out walking Kylie, trying to calm Kylie down because Kylie was having a meltdown. He's crying. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, today we're not going to be going back to Fish Gardens like I thought. We might we're just go ride some rides, but not at Fish Gardens because he doesn't feel well. He's just not feeling his best. Um, but he does want to ride the Mario, Mario, Mario Kart ride, so we are going to do that. We are going to go let him ride his Mario, Mario ride. Maybe a couple things on, maybe ride it. Right on them. His favorite other ride he likes. So we'll see. I don't know yet, y'all, because he's not in a very good mood. He's not very talkative. He won't let me touch him. And when he's like that, it's best not to push too far. Kylie, you okay, baby? Not really. I know, I know, I know. I know, baby. I know. It's okay, honey. Um, he really has a hard time when Ezra has a meltdown because it upsets him so much. So, I try not to let him be around when Ezra is having one, but it came up all of a sudden. I had no choice. No matter, I couldn't get him out of there before it started happening. So, Ezra is still having it. Um, Rich is trying to control him and calm him down. So I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so I'm out taking Ezra for a ride, trying to calm him down. But first, <laughs> coffee. <laughs> um, Ezra's tired. He didn't sleep well last night. A very bad night. So now we're dealing with this little meltdown situation. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through it. We're gonna ride the golf cart for a while. And <clears throat> we decided we're not gonna go back out and ride right today because Kylie doesn't really feel that well. And so we're just gonna kind of make it in. We may go ride a couple things because he doesn't wanna ride this whole this thing. The little fair in town, there's a bike that, there's a ride that looks like a bike in it. It goes up and it's just jocks you down in your face like Falcon Fury does. And he's now obsessed with Falcon Fury. So that's all the ride that we're just going to have to put in our little list of rides for him. So we are on our way to ride that ride for him. The other one's to go on the Alpine ride. They're going to come home, pack more stuff, eat dinner and just kind of kick back because it's been a very long couple of days so you okay Ezzy you better baby I'm sorry you got a meltdown honey he has meltdowns a lot when, he, when he's tired and doesn't really feel well he'll melt down Ezzy 
You ain't gonna go right on the Alpine Coaster, buddy? Yeah? Okay, we'll go. Here we go. Here we go, Sassy. <laughs> Man, Kyle is happy now. He doesn't really feel the greatest, but he's still wanting to ride the coaster, so we're gonna let him ride his coasters. Okay, guys, we are on a mountain coaster. Thank you for riding the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. Push your handles forward now. Here we go. Here we go! Oh my gosh! Push your handles to go fast. The bears are coming. Oh my god, you guys. Whoa! So I'm right with Ezra because I'm trying to keep him calm from having a meltdown. He's okay. We're going up the big mountain, buddy. We're going up the big mountain. Yeah, we're going up the big mountain. All right. Hey, you made it to the top. Push your handles forward and we'll see you. Here we go. Ready, set, push forward. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so, um, he's happy now. We're okay. What was that? Is that fun? Okay, guys, we're about to ride this ride that Kylie found. <clears throat> it looks sort of scary. There are two rides like this. Oh, shit. Cute. Oh my god. That was super scary. That was bad. Okay, here we go again. You ready, Kyle? Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> This is high. Ooh. Up we go. <sighs> oh my God. Oh my god. Whoa. That was creepy. Alright guys. The boys had to come down here to Bush Gardens again. So even though we didn't want to do it today, we're here anyway to ride Falcon Fury because Kylie begged and he started crying. And so I'm not gonna see my boy cry when he really wants to try one more ride before we go home. I told him I said, don't you want to ride Mario Kart? He goes, no, I want to ride Falcon Fury again. So I guess that's what we're doing because he wants to ride Falcon Fury again. He wants to ride it four times. So we're gonna do that, and he wants to run the, the iron quasi, whatever it's called, quasi iron thing. You ready, Kylie? Oh my god! Ooh! That is crazy. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay, so here we go again. Here we go again. Oh my god, you guys. How he does this, I don't know. Ooh, woohoo. Yeah, I was gonna take him to ride the Mario Kart ride today, but he was like, no, I want to ride Falcon's Philly. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. Oh, my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh sh Oh my god. That was super scary. I'm sorry, that was super scary. That was creepy. Okay, guys, so we are at the fair again. We rode, I didn't record all this because I just, I forgot. But we rode that Dabburn Falcon's Fury. Kyle rode it 25 times. So now he's obsessed with that ride. So um, Rich had to call someone about it to get him some help to find a ride that would work for him. Oh my gosh. This ride goes upside down. Holy smokes. Anyway, like I said, um, cause, um, Rich has got a guy there at the house putting that ride in today. And we're gonna call it, um, we're not sure what we're gonna call it yet, but it looks like a bike. You sit on it and it goes up and drops you right on your face. Um, it doesn't go up as high as Falcon Fury did, but, it goes up high enough and it's very fast, so he'll like it. He'll like it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Whoa. Holy smokes. Is. Anyway. So he likes these rides. They go upside down in it, or they drop you on your face. <laughs> Like that. Was that fun riding those rides, buddy? Yeah. Mom, I want to ride like that at home. Well, we're going to look into it, okay? Okay. I want to go with Triforce because you're laying, you're sitting on a bike like thing, but you get like pushed over on your face and you're trying to stay strong while you slam it to the ground no a better idea is shriek force because you're shrieking as you're going down okay so we're riding this crazy roller coaster here at um the fair again i was really hoping to kind of spend the day kicking back and packing and things but that's okay it's his day, I am cool with it. Whatever my son wants to do, we are going to do. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Mom, did you know that Intamin is the one that made the, um, that, that, um, it's okay. It's alright. They they made Falcon Three and they made the um, Aquaphobia Sex Flags. Yeah, they did, didn't they? 
Yes. You know why I know that it's Entman who made it? Because Entman makes slides that make you fall on your face. Anyway, guys, so we're just enjoying the day here at the fair a bit, and there's another ride here that makes you fall on your face if you want to ride. Yeah. Hey, guys, so we just got done with the theme park stuff, and we're just packing up for tomorrow. So, okay, here's the situation. Okay, what the heck is that noise? Okay, here's what's going on, you guys. Our house is being completely rebuilt. So we, tomorrow, instead of going home, we're going to our Atlanta home because I figure since we can't go home yet, because I didn't know they were gonna rebuild it yet. We were told they might, it might happen. We weren't sure. What's going on, Dad? Like I was trying to say before I interrupted, we are having to do some updates to our house. They're basically just actually rebuilding all of it. So, um, Sam wanted to take us to Atlanta to Six Flags, and they are open. So, we're going to leave tomorrow morning <coughs> early. I'm about to put the kids in the motorhome in a bit. We had a really good supper that Sam made. It was some really good... Uh, burgers and fries out there on the grill. It's really good. Um, so we're gonna go to Atlanta for a couple of days to play around there. We were hoping to go <coughs> start back to school this week, but the house is not where it should be, so. Didn't know George called his guy about it, so. Mom, what? We're gonna go on Equiphobia and all the other rides at Six Flags, Mom. And Hurricane Harbor. Yeah, we're probably will, honey. Good. Anyways, <clears throat> so we're going to leave in the morning to go to Atlanta and ride Six Flags rides. We'll probably get there a little late in the afternoon, so it probably won't be until the afternoon when we ride rides, but. Either way, I've got to go to the store and get a few things our home motorhome's going to need. We're going to stay um, at Sam's other house down there. We have a house in there, too, actually, that uh, were, was given to us. So, doing okay, just taking care of kids. And we were hoping Jamie would get to start his new day program this week coming, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, with the whole flight situation being so bad, you know, it's just crazy. Anyway, so we're going to leave in the morning and go to Atlanta for a few days. Ride some rides at Six Flags and stuff like that. And go to Hurricane Harbor and ride rides because Kylie likes, he wants to ride that one. We call it the Toilet Flusher, but it's a uh, Bonsai Pipeline and it's awesome. <clears throat> so, and he wants to ride Acrophobia and Monster and uh, a couple other rides, so. Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Anyway, so, um, we're just trying to get everybody settled because it is crazy. <clears throat> Everybody's tired. We've had a very long day, a very long couple of weeks, but very good weeks, you know. So, we're just trying to get all the kids settled and comfortable for the night and um, <clears throat> all that. So, that's what's going on there. And I'm just packing things that we need and. I had to order a few extra things for the kids, so that got here today, thank God. So we leave first thing in the morning for Atlanta for a few days. Not what we were hoping, but hey. Whoop. Anyway, so I... Sorry, y'all. I've been packing and things, getting ready for tomorrow. I'm hoping that the kids will be okay for a few more weeks until we get the house fixed. Our house, and I didn't know this, is a mess. And this is bad because my kitchen is probably a huge mess right now. But it's got to be fixed because there's not enough room in the doorways to get the wheelchair through. And that's a problem. We've had to kind of squish them in there. There's marks all over my doors where the wheelchair's 
have to go in. So it's like, oh no, you know, we'll fix that. So, um, that is what is going on. So we'll be leaving in the morning. I gotta see how much, how long it's gonna take to get to Atlanta. Okay, so it's about five, well, when you factor in all the stops we have to make with kids like ours, it's about six to seven hour drive, so. It beats 14 hours, but still. And then I gotta go to the grocery store and go shopping and get things that we need for the house. Um, we decide we're gonna stay in our house up there. Cause Sam wants to stay in our new house that we have up there in Atlanta, so. And it is big enough for the kids to get through doorways and all. So, um. That's what we're doing. I already talked to the teachers. I already know them. Well, I know them personally, so. We still have online stuff we can do until we get back. We were not expecting this to happen, but Rich had a breakthrough. Um, he had a message from our friend Ty, and he has got his guys down there. They already demoed our house, so we don't have a house right now. Um, they're rebuilding it so that it's bigger and wider, and twice as big as what we have now and a few more bedrooms and such because we have so many kids and a school room for those who don't want to do regular school we can do like homeschool so there are some of our kids who request they want to do homeschool so <clears throat> that will be the case um kelly was one of them although he does like school he likes being close to his mommy so we'll see Anyway, um, today's vlog's not very long. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry today's vlog is super short, but when you have the crazy stuff going on in your house that I do right now, you just, you know, you feel, you don't feel as motivated, <laughs> but it's okay. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna get through this. It's gonna be all right. I did not know this was gonna happen this soon. <clears throat> um, my son Jared, thank God, is at home. He is has been packing our stuff. Him and his wife Katie and their twenty three kids have been packing our stuff for us and moving it out of the way where they can get through to do the demo. So our house is a nice house, but it's not big enough for all our family, and it's also not wide enough. Um, it is relatively new, but there are some things about it that we didn't like it when we first got it. But it was a good bargain, so we got it. But it just, it needs some redos, so Ty's is like, well, we'll just take it down and, and redo it. So, uh, yeah, so we're, that's what they're doing. So we're gonna have, like, handicapped doors and stuff like that. Um, you know, just, and there's gonna be a ride room for Kyle. So he can ride in his rides if he wants to, whenever he wants. Except for when it's time to go to bed, you know. I have to shut it and oh, it doesn't go in there. But anyway, so that's what's going on. I did not know enough to tell you until now. I'm sorry. Things are just crazy. Help me. Anyway, washing dishes. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you tomorrow in more detail about what's going on. Um, I do know that there will be a way to get the chairs up to the different floors. We are going to have a lift. Which is awesome because we need one. We don't have one right now. Which means all our wheelchair kids have to stay downstairs and quit marching me because we can't get upstairs. So that's going to change too. Yay. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a great night and God bless you. And don't forget, you are awesome. The next day. Good morning, everybody. We are at Aldi's for a minute. Then we'll a few, getting a few things for Atlanta. We're leaving today. Um, it's early, you guys. Um, <sighs> just getting a few things that we need that we don't have in the RV. So I'm putting both vlogs together because I fell asleep last night. I was tired, so I was like, <laughs> crashed. Sorry about that. Um, it is now Thursday. <clears throat> and I want to tell you, I am night manager. I've advanced, uh, advanced up to level, I think it's 90? I think. I can't remember. But 
I'm able to visit the Dragon Player and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Just getting a few things. We have our, all these bags this week. Which last time we didn't. I still have to also go to probably Kroger's or Target. So, um, the kids are already asleep, so I'm going to stop by here to grab a few things, like snacks and things that take long. Out my finger popped. So, Daniel had no seizure last night pretty bad. Luckily, <clears throat> the place we have to go through for, to for his EEG is like maybe an hour away from where we're staying at. So, if that has to happen, we can do it. We can do. Okay. Okay, guys, I came here to, here to Kroger's because. So the things we need at Aldi's they didn't have, so Kroger's does. We're not gonna get a chance to shop at the Kroger's, but I am today. Kids are still sleeping, which is actually a good thing. Daniel's uh, on oxygen right now, because the oxygen was low, so. <clears throat> it's really early, guys. Marquise is up, though. He wanted to come. He and Richard were gonna come with me. Help me. <clears throat> but first, coffee. We got blue on it, actually. Yeah. So, <clears throat> let's go for it. All right, hey. Let's go. Whew. I'm glad we do have our house in Atlanta because it actually is accessible for us, but we don't say Georgia because the health issues that our kids have don't, it's not all covered. Right, keys? Yeah. You got it on here. Just getting a few things we need here, guys. We need meat because I'm going to be cooking the RV. Until <clears throat> we get home. Well, it's early in the anyway. <laughs> Kind of cool this morning. Thank God I have a freezer and refrigerator. Actually, we have three in our motor home. So, um, our son Jace brought YouTube. Yeah. Excuse me, our son Jared brought. <clears throat> Our bigger motor home down and they, they took the other one back last night, so um I wasn't told about that this morning, so looks like good, so I we can put more stuff in here. <clears throat> more queso, because we're out. Cause this one's the most the last batch we had. My castle borders. Grab and go stuff, you know how that goes. <clears throat> so just 
trying to get an assortment of things we need. Look at all that. Grapes for Rich. Sorry, I'm gonna put press play on Narky's video. He's watching something on his phone. <clears throat> okay, I had to get six loaves of sandwich bread. Because we were out of sandwich bread. No, I'm sitting. So I'm getting everything I can now before we start heading over to the lab. <clears throat> so Keith is doing life skills. He's helping mommy shop, huh? While I'm watching the people's court because he likes to watch that show so much. Marcus, can you grab a bottle over there, honey? There we go. Ouch. I'm going to like sputter. And plant-based sputter for Rich, because he likes the plant-based. He's here on his tummy. So we're just getting a few things done. We're not going to get a whole lot of stuff, because we get more when we get, you know, home. Back to our own home, but... <clears throat> We're just gonna see if they do that. Cause I, of course, I could have stopped at Publix that were in Atlanta, but their prices are too high. Down here, they're not so bad. <clears throat> We're just getting a few things. We need some chips because the kids are out of things. They snack on. I've got to get pork chops because we are out and I want to make pork chops tonight. Also, got to get milk because we are totally out of milk and our cows are not making enough to keep us through for a couple weeks till we get our house back. Arizona tea for Richard, because he loves Arizona tea. Also almond milk for him, because he likes that. I cannot drink almond milk. I've tried. I, I just cannot drink it. I get these lean pork chops because you can fry them really easy. Steaks for tomorrow night, too. Okay, buddy. Produce, we got that to tomatoes. So we need salad kits for Richard because he likes those when he's, <clears throat> he doesn't eat a whole, like a big lunch much. He likes salad for lunch usually. Because he's trying to lose weight, although he doesn't need to lose weight. He's trying to. I have to get some stuff for that, too. <clears throat> I 
avocados because he loves avocados. Mostly he likes California avocados, but they're hard to get, so we get them when we can. <clears throat> Some oranges because Ford has the best oranges ever. Hot dogs just because onions <clears throat> I didn't think we were gonna start up doing this by shopping, but we are. Ezra's chocolate milk that he likes. Ezra's chocolate milk. He loves chocolate milk. That's why he drinks a lot of his chocolate milk. So I got that for him. Good job, Ez. Good job, Izzy. Ezzy um, reminded me of that because he came in to see where I was and he reminded me of chocolate milk. So. Here's the list of... We need some chips and salsa. Okay, apparently it's Rostitos. And these Lay's. Rich's kettle chips he likes. Peanuts for Joshua. Goldfish for Zoe. And Bodie and Kylie only like um, corn sugar, yeah, so get all that done. Okay. Let's try to get all we gotta do done. These fun size bags of chips for them on the road. Alright, the fries. Popcorn chicken. And shrimp. Hey guys, we are on the road. We finally got everything we needed for grocery. I got breakfast for everybody. We got Dunkin' and much needed coffee. So anyway guys, so we're just heading out to go to Atlanta. It'll be about five to six hour drive, maybe more. Six to eight hours, I'm thinking, because there's so much we do. Stops and diaper changes and YouTube feeds and whatever. So some of the kids are still sleeping. Daniel is up. <clears throat> he did have another seizure, but he's okay. Kylie's up. And he was happy to see his favorite uh, things in here. Ow. I have a lot of pain in my right knee. Ooh, that hurts. Uh, Jamie doesn't really understand the routine change, so he had a little meltdown, but he's okay. He's eating his baby ladies back there. <clears throat> so, anyway, we're just driving as much as we can. <clears throat> So we put the kids in here last night with us um, to let them sleep in here because they would have been fussy um, being woken up by 
us this morning. You know, wake up, we have to go. So we just um, all slept in here, and that was fine. <clears throat> I woke up to riding around in this thing. <laughs> so we stopped and got a few groceries and things. And like our breakfast is Dunkin' for everybody. <laughs> Best thing we ever did do, because we were kind of like, Ugh. Supposed to rain here later or that, but it doesn't, but it's supposed to. So we just heard that it's raining in Atlanta, Georgia, so. <sighs> um, leaving wonderful cozy sunshine to rain, so. Sort of sucks. Andy and W are still sleeping because Andy's real tired and he was fussy last night, so. Still sleeping. And um, Casey and Richard are still sleeping. And Lonnie's back there sleeping. And a few of the kids are awake doing a lot of online schoolwork. Daniel's doing his. He's very happy about that. So, yeah. Um, so, ouch. I did get some apples too, because the kids love them, and Rich always does too. And I got some stuff to make fresh apple juice for him, because he loves apple juice. Um, he's a clattery old motorhome, but it's a good one. We, we've actually, we're glad to have this one, because it's bigger than any other one we've ever had. Um, we thought we were going to end up taking the, the little one down, but Jared um, drove up here last night, and then his wife drove them back home this morning, so, with the older one. So we got the big one. We got a trailer on the back of this, and I hope the leaf spring doesn't go out, because last time we drove this, the leaf spring went out on the trailer, and we had an issue. Um, so I'm really hoping that this time it, uh, it will be okay. I'm driving now, Rich is kind of, <clears throat> he's just relaxing, helping me out, watching the trailer for me. The Duffs are back there sleeping too. Duffs are a good friend of ours. They're a family who <clears throat> we met through Daniel's uh, diagnosis. So, yeah. So it's been a couple of hours and we are progressing well. Most of the kids are just resting and enjoying being sleepy. Sleepy babies. So we're starting to see so the rain I talked about, it's been a couple hours now, and uh, kids are out there doing online school, and I'm driving now, Rich is, um, actually no, Rich is driving now, I'm just kind of watching and helping out, wherever I'm needed. Okay, so it's been a little while, and no rain right now, everything's okay, we just, uh, had a little issue <laughs> with some rain, but it's okay now. So we've been on the road three hours and Daniel just had a seizure. He is okay, but he was very fussy. And James couldn't take it, he had a meltdown. He was trying to work on his 
stuff that he has to do during the day, his chores and things, and he had meltdowns. Hoping this is not a big mistake. There's no way we're going to Six Flags today. It's too rainy and too cold, but we might go tomorrow if it clears out. Anyway, so um, an update on our house progress. Everything is going well as expected. We have about two other people working on the, on the house right now. Um, our architects plus Ty's architects, so. Yeah, we are doing great. As far as that goes. It is quite windy, y'all. I mean windy. So we'll be there in a while. Then I'm going to try to get things settled and get things put in the house for a bit. Um, this is not going to be a very long vlog today. Thank God I'm, I'm putting both of them together because there's no way I could do a long vlog today. With all I gotta do. But it's okay guys. It's all good. We're gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. So. Just kind of stay strong. Fight it. So Joshua's driving now. He finally got his license and he's driving now. We're loving that. So anyway, um, we are closer to home. Well, not home, but where we're going to be staying. Which is our home away from home. It's our getaway home. That we bought a couple of years ago. These roads are crazy bad. We're having some rain intermittently. Kyle is mad because he wants to go to Six Flags today, but maybe it's rainy. It's nasty out. No. And he started crying and biting his hands. So I had to restrain him. So, um, Josh is doing a great job driving. I'm tired, guys. I am like a five hour vlog. Um, trying to get everything done, get here safely. Luckily, I've got all the groceries that I need. Just gotta get them inside and they'll be alright, you know. That's all that matters right now. These roads are bad. But it's okay, we're gonna do it. Might go to the drive in the movie theater tomorrow night if it's clear and not so cold. Okay, so there's no rain tomorrow, that's good. So we can take the kids to Six Flags and Hurricane Harbor. That will be good. We were not expecting to even get help with our house. We were gonna do it ourselves. It's just over time, but when Ty told us that he would help us, he was like, good morning, you know, family. Uh, you got an extra, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of your house for you. I'm like, oh God. So, um, we were not expecting this. We were supposed to go home and we just were back for a few days, but that's not gonna happen apparently. <sighs> yeah. So we're almost there. So, we hit rain. We're in Atlanta now. About 15 minutes from our house. And it's raining. Kylie's not happy. He's having a meltdown back there. It's not bad, it's just weepy rain, but Kylie's, Kylie's mad, so. The place that we're going to does have a right, right in the rec room, so he can do that. And he'll be all right. He'll make it. Hey guys, so we are about to come in our place. I don't know how much more I'm going to vlog you guys because it has been a crazy day so far trying to get everything done. 
taking care of kids, trying to make sure people are happy. I will do what I can though. Hey guys, we made it here. I got all the stuff put away over here. Kylie is in the ride room. Riding his new ride he likes so much. Luckily our friend who previously owned this house had a ride like this, so. It's called Strike Force and it goes up in the air a lot and then you drop, so Kylie's happy, finally. Jamie's happy. We're just taking a shower. He's exhausted. So am I. We got here, had supper, um, got the kids' baths and everything, so everybody's just kind of hanging around. Probably put the kids to bed pretty soon because it is crazy. We have a lot to do tomorrow. Um, we're going to Six Flags, and also Daniel has an appointment on Monday. It'll be about an hour and a half drive to his appointment. And that's okay. It's all good. We can do it. So we are just getting settled here in our home in Atlanta, waiting for our other home to be fixed. It's a lot of traffic. It has not as bad as it was. It is beautiful here, more or less. I mean, it's cold, rainy, but still better than what it was. I'm just making beds, trying to get everybody comfortable for the night. Ready to go sleepy, Daniel? It's like 7.45. Tired, Daniel? Huh? Yeah? Okay. So we're getting everybody comfortable for the night. Kyle won't go out of the ride room. So Daddy had to go in there and get him out of there. We told him we could go in there tomorrow. So what does he want? He just doesn't understand. Start crying, but it'll be okay. So all the kids are getting ready for bed. I'm going to be getting ready for bed myself. Sorry, guys. Today's vlog was just kind of a dud. I didn't pull last night though because I was just too tired. So I went to bed and crashed. So I'm gonna get my vlog day. Thank you, honey. The kids all have lockers put their clothes in, which is nice. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to say I love you guys tonight. I love you all so much. You are awesome. You are special. And you are awesome. Love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.